Welcome to Small Talk Daily for Monday, April 26, 2010. This morning I wanted to go through some things that might be a little bit specific to Oracle in some cases and not terribly specific to Oracle in others, just with VisualWorks and database access. And to do this I'm going to use an Oracle database here that I've got installed on Windows. I've got sort of a dummy username and password set up here. I've got a page over here with the real contact information for this. So I will connect to my database and then I'm going to get a session. Now what I'm going to do is demonstrate array binding and block factor and show you the difference in performance when you use or don't use those. So to go down, I've already dropped this table. Let's go ahead and create this new table and it's got a number and a bar char field in it. And this was created for me by one of the engineers who works on this stuff in VisualWorks. So what we're going to do is we're going to insert a thousand records into a table and we're not using array binding. We're just going to iterate through and insert a thousand records, see how long it takes. So we'll do this. So we'll do it, do it there. It's going to take a moment. And now what we'll do is we'll print to the transcript how long that took in milliseconds. So we'll do a do it here and we'll take a look. In milliseconds it was 1816, so 1 1.8 seconds. Now let's go down and try it again but using array binding. So you see here we're using array binding and we do this by telling it to bind the input into a bind array and then execute. So that's how this is different. Up here, if you notice, we just go and bind input each individual piece of it and then throw it in and here we're binding the whole array at once. So let's go ahead and try this and see how long this takes. So we'll do this code here and now we'll scroll down here, transcript show, how long did that take? Do it, do it. We'll come up here and you notice that instead it took 15 milliseconds. Kind of a small difference in terms of performance between the two. Notice that when we go iterate one by one it takes a long time bind the whole array, whoosh, it just happens. So let's go down here and now we'll do a fetch. And with fetching we're going to set our loop count, do a SQL select down here, set the block factor to 1. This is the default. If you don't do anything the block factor will be set to 1 and that's basically telling the back-end database how many things should it cache as it hands things forward to you. So let's go ahead and do this with basically no optimization at all and see how long that takes. So you see the little cursor there and now we'll print out how long that takes to the transcript again in milliseconds. So we'll do a do it. Come up here and it looks like it took 593 milliseconds, basically half a second. Now let's try that setting the block factor to 100 and do it again. And we'll do a do it. You notice that we didn't see a visible weight cursor that time. It was much faster so we'll print this out. Do a do it. And sure enough setting it down dropped us from 593 to 52, almost basically a full order of magnitude difference. This may not seem that crucial to you, I mean a half a second in a client application might not be that much, but if it was a server application and you're doing this quite a lot, it would make a huge difference. Or even in a client application if the numbers got truly large. Let's go ahead and try it one more time setting the block factor to 500 and see what that does to it. So we'll do a do it on that and then we'll come down and print that out. Again, notice no visible cursor weight, so we'll do a do it, come up here, and it dropped it down to 30. Not nearly as much of an improvement, not quite 50% better, but still better than the block factor of 100. You get into diminishing returns here after a while, so you pretty much set the block factor up and then don't touch it, but you can see that deciding to leave it alone has huge difference from deciding well let me set it up to something reasonable. So those are a couple of things you can do. The array binding specific to Oracle, probably not going to work for you with other databases in the same way, but we have got support for that in VisualWorks and of course Object Studio since we're using the same database backend in both pieces of in both application code. So you can get the same results. So with array binding specific to Oracle, block factor not specific to Oracle, you'll get the same kind of improvement although maybe not quite so much using other databases if you set the block factor to something other than that default of one. So the last thing I'm going to do is disconnect my connection. And that's about it for today. Until next time, have fun with Smalltalk.